as we are cheering on the newest generation of women's Olympic gymnast stars, many of us fondly remember one of the first U.S. star gymnasts, Mary Lou Retton. And I got the chance to talk to her today. I will never forget watching her win that all-around gold in L.A. in 1984. So we thought we'd see what she had to say about today's competitions. Let's take a look. Hi, Mary Lou. Thanks for talking to us. It's such an exciting week in Rio for everyone. Tell us about the emotions those young Olympians are feeling right now as they get ready for individual competitions. Uh, I mean, I, they're still on cloud nine from winning the gold medal from team. I mean, when you beat the world by eight points in gymnastics, I mean, you're untouchable. We truly are the, the dominant force on planet Earth and uh, so very, very proud of those young ladies. And you are now the mom of four daughters competing in gymnastics. What's it like to be in the stands? Um, as, a, as a mom watching your kids, very nerve-wracking, but, but it's so much fun. I'm a super fan, and I tell myself every season, okay, Mary Lou, you're going to sit there, and you're just going to clap properly. But I can't <laughs> help myself. I'm the loud, obnoxious mom that is screaming at them, and I think they love it. Though. And that makes you very normal. Well, you are also now a fitness ambassador and involved in a nutrition campaign called Dear Future Me. I love the name. Tell us about the campaign. Thank you. Well, as a fitness ambassador, of course, being an athlete m most of my life and now as a wife and a mother, I've teamed up with Nature's Bounty. And what I'm encouraging people to do, and it's super easy to do, is go to the website, naturesbounty.com, click on to Dear Future Me. And what I'm encouraging people to do is to write a letter to yourself to live a healthy future. And you can start doing that today. And that's something that's very important to me. I've done it, and I, I just I want that healthy future for everybody else. How do you think parents can help pass on a healthy lifestyle to kids? Because so much of what kids learn is just modeling from their family, it seems. Absolutely, and, and that's something that I try to instill into my family. Our regimen in my house is this, and in a different vi there's a different vision of a healthy future for everybody. For me, it's spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical. All of those things are a package for me. But in the morning, we wake up, I have to exercise. If I don't, it doesn't get done, if it doesn't get done in the morning. Second, I take my vitamins. The, the, my daughters are athletes. And that's important that, that I instill that in them. I set them out the night before because that morning rush hour to get everybody out the door is, is pretty, um, pretty hectic in my household. And then we eat healthy. All those things work for me and my regimen. You know, I have a lot of issues, uh, Stephanie, with, with joints from, from my um, career. It, it, gymnastics can be a very pounding and brutal sport and so joint health is something that's very important to me. So the vitamins that I take and took in my entire athletic career and now as a wife and a mom who has some arthritis issues, glucosamine and calcium are very, very important in my joint health as part of my healthy uh, living. And as a family, of course, we can all encourage each other. So thank you for your encouragement for all of us to live healthy. And we'll, of course, all be cheering on those gymnasts in Rio. And we all remember cheering you on as one of the very first back in 1984. As a young teen, Mary Lou, that was thrilling for me. And we thank you for getting all of us excited about gymnastics, even with this next generation. Thank you so much. Go Team USA. Okay, so I'm a dork, but I got like goose pimples talking to her. Don't you she remember was, watching yes. her nail that ball? She was the Absolutely. big deal. Absolutely. Yeah. You know how close I got to the Olympics? How? Kathy Rigby, who won the Olympic gold one year, was dating my old boyfriend, Tommy <laughs> Mason. Does that count? She took him away from me. Apparently, I'll never forget her. One degree. Dating yeah. is Linda's Olympic sport. See, we're all finding you one. You take the gold. I have four years to figure out mine. All right. Yes, you do. All right. Well, we're proud of Mary Lou and can't wait to keep celebrating gold with Team USA.